It is always super exciting when you get an email or a phone call asking you to serve on a board or commission. It's kind of validation that your expertise is worth something to somebody, that they need you to help them. That's always a great feeling. But let me tell you, I've served on a lot of boards and commissions over the years, from itty-bitty little boards that were trying to get a little website going for a nonprofit or uh, some other uh, small enterprise, uh, all the way up to statewide boards that I had to go before a Senate hearing before I was actually confirmed and allowed to serve. So I have a fair amount of experience in this area, and over the years I've found that I've gotten better at selecting what boards I serve on, or what commissions, or what task force, or anything else like that. So here are four questions or issues that I think you should think about before you respond to any such request. First of all, why do you want to take this position? Okay, so stop and think carefully. Is this just about your vanity? Is it because you want to be important? Uh, does it sound cool? That's not a good reason to serve on a board. Okay. Are you doing it just because you're afraid if you say no now, you will not get asked again. Kind of like going on a date or going to the dance, right? You wonder, will I ever get asked again? If you just see this as a stepping stone to something else, then I would suggest it's probably a good idea to say no. Second, you need to realize that if you do this, you're saying no to other things. Okay, because... There's a lot of opportunity costs when you say yes to something. That means you're giving up other opportunities to do something, to work on your own projects, to otherwise move things ahead or have an impact on the world. I would say that people that are very effective, that have turned out to be effective leaders, have had a big impact on the world, have done so through their ability to say no. And if you don't believe me, read some of the stuff that you'll find in print about it people like Bill Gates or Warren Buffett or other people that you look up to in your field. And I think you'll find that they say no much more often than they say yes. Thirdly, what is the secret sauce that you're going to bring to the group? Do you bring something that no one else can? Do you have some special insight? Are you unique in some way as far as being able to fill a role on this board or commission? What are you bringing to the organization? If you are not bringing anything particularly special or unique, then I would suggest that you think about letting someone else do it. And sometimes I actually suggest other people that would be good fits um, or might bring something more to the board than what I can. Now, the fourth one here is what I think is probably the most important, or at least I've found to be the most important, and that is to ask the question, are you willing to own the issues and problems that this board is going to confront? If not, if you're just going to be there to pontificate and offer your opinions on what somebody else should be doing or the way the world should work, and you're not going to roll up your sleeves and actually get down into the hard work that has to be done when you own a problem, then it's probably time to take a pass. I say this is one of the most important ones, or at least it's been one of the most important ones for me, because there's lots of issues that I have opinions on, and there's lots of things that I can tell other people how to do their work on. But I stop myself and I say, am I really willing to own this problem? Am I really willing to dedicate tens, hundreds of hours, or thousands of hours to trying to solve this problem? If not, then it's time to take a pass. One final piece of advice. Don't rush your answer when you get an email or call like this. Take a few days to respond. Take some time to reflect on it. Um, give your little bit of time uh, to have some distance between the question and the answer. Now, I get invited to serve on stuff fairly often, and I rarely say yes. 
but I think that I have a much bigger impact on the world by serving on just one or two boards that where I'm an effective contributing member and not 20. Okay? And in fact, when I'm looking at resumes, I'm looking for somebody that has done something uh, on a board or commission that has been effective, not that they've served on 20 or 30 of them simultaneously. So I hope that this advice helps you know when to say yes and when to say no. And I hope it lets you choose things where you can be effective and can help shape our future in a positive way.